Hello, Fiddle Tube class. Hope you're taking care of yourselves out there. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna learn a minor tune today, um, and uh, remember I've talked to you guys about uh, you know the difference between major and minor before, and that refers to uh, chords. And remember, in our chords we have um, three notes usually. So that would be if if I had this. <laughs> my D major chord. If I had a D minor chord, it would be like this. Okay, and the only difference between the two chords there is my, on a D major chord, my second finger is sharp, meaning it's higher in pitch. Second finger on the D there. Um, if I'm playing minor, then the finger is natural, okay? It's a half step down from the major. So it's that middle note there that makes the difference. These two notes stay the same, okay? Uh, so uh, this tune we're going to learn is called Glory in the Meeting House. And it's uh, a tune in E minor. Okay, I'm going to show you the basic melody for this lesson, and then we'll get into um, more stuff uh, down the line. So here we go. playing mostly on my A and E strings. First finger on the A to start out. Open E. Third finger on the A. First finger. Open. First finger. Open E. And I repeat a lot of that. Uh, you'll notice that the only fingers that I'm using are um, open strings, so no fingers there. But the only fingers that I'm engaging are my first finger and my third finger. So um, recognize patterns like that when you're learning tunes, and it'll make you, it'll help you learn them faster. So I'm giving my second finger, my second finger, and my fourth finger a rest for this section. So I'm only using this finger and this finger. Okay, um, that'll help you narrow it down. Um, something I highly recommend doing um, is playing tunes in time, playing tunes with a metronome. So, um, what I've got here is uh, I, I recommend just going on Google or any search engine um, and searching for metronome. And then you can find a metronome online without having to download anything or do anything of that nature. Just find it online. And then you can input any pace you want. And then, um, yeah, you can start playing anything you learn with a metronome. So I'm going to demonstrate uh, a metronome for you with the, the line we just learned from Glory in the Meeting House. Um, so I got... What I've done is I searched on Google on my laptop and I just put in their metronome and it came up with a metronome right on the search page that I can put numbers into. Um, and I'm going to start out pretty slow. So uh, 
what I'm what I'm gonna play this tune at is 60 BPM, which stands for beats per minute. Six zero BPM is what I'm doing. Um, so in other words, it's it's basically the equivalent of our seconds. Okay, one, two, three. Uh, so here we go. I'll show you how how to play with one. So start out by using your open string to kind of um, just bow back and forth on each beat. So I'm going to do a down bow on one beat, up bow on one beat. All right, like this. So I'm going to keep the, the notes on Glory in the Meeting House the same way. You'll notice um, there's some notes in there that move a little faster, so keep track of those. And if you're if you're tabbing it out or writing it out, you can make a little note on that when that happens. Um, so here we go. I'm gonna play through. This is a good play along. If you guys are on um, YouTube watching the video, this is a good play along uh, to play with this this Glory in the Meeting House section. Play it with me while I'm playing with the metronome, and then you can practice your timing that way too. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four. recommend um, I highly recommend doing that exercise on any of the tunes that you know so far um, and you guys are starting to build a repertoire now you, you know some pretty good tunes so start uh, doing this exercise on on all of those you know and anything you learn in the future start really um, focusing in on the timing and, and trying to match that metronome and that'll that'll develop your sense of rhythm and timing really well so uh, for class on Thursday, um, if you guys if you guys learn this melody that I just showed you on this video, if somebody has the melody down by this Thursday, um, then you get to ask a bonding time question. All right. So, um, and you have and and if you get it down, the good thing about getting it down early is then you have a lot of time to develop your bonding time question. Ask us something that'll all blow our minds. All right. <laughs> Alright, in the meantime, hope you guys stay safe.